How's everybody doing today? We're shooting live from Alan Keith Sones Jr.'s truck. Uh, I'm making this video just to, to show anybody that watches it the power and the corruption of the state of Montana, United States of America. My son and I are being made to be homeless. The state illegally evicted us out of a federal apartment. The landlord committed five counts of perjury under oath, and I proved it in court. And Gallatin County judges decided that it was necessary for me to be evicted, even though I am the primary caregiver of my son. Our houses have been broken into. I have found semen stains on uh, blankets that I used to cover windows. My truck has been vandalized. My son and I have both been drugged, and I have proved this. I have constantly lost work uh, over discrimination. I have... Uh, my religion is a Satru, and I have Viking runes tattooed on the back of my neck. At one of my employers, a teenager wrote a complaint to the general manager saying that he wanted me fired for having, uh, his exact words were runic tattoos, which is a religious tattoo. And of course, they fired me over it. Um, I, I have constantly fought in this state to no avail. I have proved eight lawsuits in Gallatin County, Montana to no avail. The, the Gallatin County judges have broken their own state's laws to evict a child and his father. His mother receives benefits for, for him she works and doesn't report her earnings. She has a felon who thinks he is a crip gangster living with her. And the state does not care. They know that I'm the primary caregiver of my son. They know that he is with me even though I am homeless. At least 85-90% of the time. Sometimes it's 100% of the time when with the exception of when I'm at work nobody cares here it's been below zero almost every night and if it wasn't for me saving money and having having survival gear we wouldn't even be warm we could have frozen to death this state is the most corrupt state in the union I need help from anybody that is willing to help I'm getting civil rights people involved uh, I've even written the President of the United States but of course he doesn't care he doesn't care at all he doesn't even care about black people so of course he's gonna care about a white boy and his son uh, it's gone way too far way too far and I refuse to give in I'm also a target of an individual and I have been gang stalked for almost 16 years the only problem is that the past two years have become increasingly worse. I, I can't even live with anybody. The moment that I try to find a roommate, it's either a drug addict or it's somebody who wants to steal my money. I've, I've tried repeatedly now and had nothing but issues. People are slandering me on the internet. Uh, they've called me everything you can imagine. And the truth is, I'm a right winger, I'm a family man, and I love my children more than my life. Everybody needs to stand up against this federal government and these small governments. They are the most corrupt, evil things in the world. They are easily manipulated by anything that's evil, anything, greed, power, corruption, uh, slandering people that they dislike, 
uh, being friends with people that they shouldn't be friends with, that are evil to begin with, and it's, it's, uh, it's awful. I think that all Americans should come together and smash the enemy into the ground. This is our lives, our future, our children's future, not theirs.